We have all heard about the viruses going around. The coronavirus or COVID-19 and the flu are spreading all at a rapid pace. But did you know that buildings can get sick too? Yes, you can hear it in my voice, but no, nothing like that right now. But if we build the foundation of a healthy building, we can stop the spread of illness. Now let's talk about it. Sick building syndrome is when building occupants experience health issues that appear to be linked to the time spent in a building. Sick building syndrome is a term that is given to buildings that produce illnesses. In comparison, the term building-related illness is used when symptoms of an illness can be attributed to airborne contaminants. Let's focus on the sick building syndrome. You might be a victim of this and you don't even know it. You have symptoms associated with acute discomfort. The cause of the symptom is not known. You experience relief soon after leaving a building. No, I'm not suggesting you have it right now, but let's think about what happens. This can lead to a number of health issues for customers and workers. Think allergic reactions, asthma, headaches, and breathing problems. Not to mention spreading viruses during the flu season, which we've been hearing so much about right now. Here's where problems arise. Air that isn't circulated properly can grow stagnant. Good air circulation can keep buildings healthy. Good air circulations can keep buildings healthy uh, mainly because 50% of the cases are, are due to bad ventilation. So let's dive in even more into what causes it and then some of the solutions. According to the EPA, primary causes include poor ventilation, chemical contamination from indoor sources, chemical contamination from outdoor sources, and biological contaminants. And this is where it really gets interesting. We can build the foundation for a healthy building. Foundations for a healthy building really consist of good ventilation, proper indoor air quality, and really from the HVAC standpoint, it, it leads to proper maintenance of your HVAC equipment, having a clean building, and just monitoring and, and tempering your temperatures properly. Now back in 2017, forhealth.org and the Harvard School of Public Health published the nine foundations of a healthy building. Now all of these include air quality, thermal health, moisture, dusts and pests, safety and security, water quality, noise, lighting and views, and ventilation. Addressing these areas can help build, as I've been saying, the foundation for this healthy, strong building. And the technology can be the glue to hold all of this together. Technology can create a healthy building by predicting and monitoring problems that can also save money and time. So for example, we can be looking at things like artificial intelligence and the internet of things can help manage our HVAC and our energy use. We're, we're collecting the data and we're analyzing it in the clouds and in a cloud system and it's, it's predicting and providing information to the customers. The technology can adjust the airflow as needed. The IoT sensors are really the main focal point now where it's eliminating having a full-blown building automation system and it's providing the customers with something simple, inexpensive, and it's, it's giving all the correct data to help simplify their daily tasks. Sensors can monitor levels of CO2 to help prevent or even reduce sick buildings. Sensors can help to monitor the health of a building by, one example is relative humidity. Um, not controlling within the proper range of relative humidity can cause mold growth and, and breathing problems for a customer or uh, an employee. Another good example would be CO2 monitoring, where CO2, um, the more people involved into a space in a room, the, the, the more CO2 is breathed within that space, and it can cause um, clients or customers or employees to actually develop headaches and, and, and nausea. So here's the result. The buildings are healthier for humans. The sky's the limit with, with IoT and analytics. Uh, there are so many products that we're utilizing right now and every day, the, the field changes. There, there are so many new products and new tools that come out that's gonna actually make IoT and the analytics quicker, more responsive, and more useful. 
And this can be true in both the commercial and residential buildings. So let's look at one example. At last year's International Builder Show, we reported on the KB Home Project that featured a home wellness intelligence system. The project explored four big trends, flexibility, sustainability, health and wellness, and technology. The home was built with all of this in mind. They had air and water that was purified. Circadian lighting uses light to support human health. And it does this by minimizing the effect of electric light on the human circadian rhythm. All in all, the trend toward healthier homes and buildings is growing. Back in the early 70s, when the country went through an energy crisis, that it, they started sealing off buildings more, making them more airtight. So really, humans spend 90% of their time in a building in their entire life. So now that the buildings are more airtight, they're putting better insulation, better roofing, and they're even now have net zero buildings to where they're, they're completely sealing the buildings off. That it is, it is extremely important that indoor air quality and proper ventilation is provided. If we can prevent the spread of illness by building healthy structures, we can do something good for our customers and all of their occupants. Now, if we can do the same thing and practice this on airplanes and stop the spread of illness in the air, I'm all aboard for that too. So thanks for watching Construct Tech TV, your fierce advocates for construction. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe.